it's not everyone who gets to read their own obituary. But something like that happened to our next guest. Paul Vance in Coral Springs, Florida, is the man who wrote Itsy Bitsy Teeny Weeny Yellow Polka Dot Bikini. But... What happened is, I'm at the television. Right. A crawler goes by. And I say, what, what the heck am I looking at? Famous songwriter. Famous song. Passes away, writer of Itsy Bitsy Teeny Weeny Yellow Polka Dot Bikini. What the heck is this? I get a call that very minute my sister picked up. She says, what are you, crazy? He says, it's all over the air. My father's dead. She says, wait a minute. Let me t- let me see if I can find him. So she gets me on the phone. I says, I've seen the same thing. So I'm in the dark like you are. I says, I'm dead. I says, if I'm dead, I'm the, I'm the only one that don't know it. When they call and hear your voice. Dad, that's you. I says, yes, it's me. I'm not dead. There's a mistake here. And it's a, it's a vicious mistake, really. And how could they do this? And my other phones are going, and everybody's screaming that I'm dead. And I says, I'm not dead. There's a mistake here. Are you going to sue anybody? You're not going to sue Yeah, you know something? I'm going to sue now, because I told him, when when I first seen it, I called up uh, Associated Press. I said, look, take this off now. I said, because it's killing me. It's killing all my friends. Oh, you're going to sue the blues. Sue the media. Have a ball. They got plenty of money. I am going to sue the media. In fact, I have a top, top, top lawyer now. But... I told them to take it off because it, it, it's a lie. I said, look, you're screwing up. You're screwing up everything in my life here. <laughs> now, here's the ironic part of this, too. Oh, there's another ironic part, yes. You no, know, no. I have racehorses, I'm a, and I'm, I train my own racehorses. I got trotters and pacers. Uh-huh. That day, they took my horses out of the box because they thought I was dead. <laughs> they scratched now, this is insanity. I mean, you take my horses out of the box, and I call the, pro- the what do you call the race secretary. He says, Paul, it's all over the air. You're dead. And now it's burning in me. I'm saying, wait a minute. I have a fortune coming in from, from uh, Europe. If they think you're dead, do you think they're going to send you the money? <laughs> right. Come on, Absolutely. Come on for a minute. <laughs> That no should, one's going to send me the money, the only. Paul, that should be your lawyer's number one line. The man ain't dead, so where's his bread? Come right. On. Where's the bread? He ain't yep, dead. Right. It's too bad <laughs> he's true. died. The, the, the and, lawyer who would have said that. Um, it was. It was really a nightmare. Paul, it's it's my experience that it's hard to, hard to get the record companies to give you the money when you're alive. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, Paul, I'm glad to hear you're alive because uh, this was fantastic. You're a, a wonderful storyteller and a great guy. Thank you. That's very nice of you.